from years ago, but he has been part of our lives since Lauren and I were married. Clarence has always had a place of honor in our home, his picture on the wall, stories po told by his siblings and his aunts and his uncles have kept him alive for our family. I believe Clarence has been one of the most influential uncles our children could ever have had. His short life and circumstances of his death have taught our children what sacrifice and honor are all about. The most important lesson that he taught all of the young people in our families is that freedom that we take for granted today in this country is not free. We know that all families that have lost loved ones in the service of our country have had many of the same feelings of loss that our family has had. Along with Clarence on July 11th, 1967, six other young men left grieving families. Elmer F. Kenny, Harold W. King, Marion Butch Eakins, Philip A. Ferrero, and Howard W. Bannister also gave the ultimate sacrifice on that fateful day. This community and the surrounding area also mourned young men that did not come home from Vietnam. Ronald Myron Cloud from Panema was 23 when he lost his life on July 4th, 1968. Mark Anthony Anderson from Pennington was 19 when he lost his life on May 24th, 1967. Richard Marvin Croson <laughs> from Red Lake was 20 when he lost his life on September 13th, 1967. Thomas Charles Luer from Bermidji was 20 when he lost his life on February 8th of 1968. Richard Dewey Vick from Bermidji was 22 when he lost his life on February 20th, 1968. Robert Wayne Glidden from Bermidji was 19 when he lost his life on April 20th, 1968. Daniel Bruce Persons, Minneapolis, was 19 when he lost his life on September 20th, 1968. Daniel Bruce Persons, excuse me, Larry Dean McKenzie from Mizpah was 22 when he lost his life on June 3rd, 1969. And last but certainly not least, the other young man from Black Duck who gave his life for his country, leaving behind a wife and children, grieving parents and siblings, was Alan Fred Kobernick, who was 27 years old when he lost his life on September 23rd, 1968. We would like to dedicate this memorial to all veterans, with a special dedication to the men of the 4th and the 47th, 9th Infantry, who served beside Clarence and have kept him in their memories for all these years. It is meant to honor all veterans of all wars, all veterans from Charles Harris, a black Marine buried on the southwest corner of the cemetery, a man with only a couple friends present to send him off. To my father, who is buried on the northeast part of the cemetery, who had many friends and family members present to send him off, and to Eddie Ray Berg, who never came home. All veterans from the first wars to the young men from our community who have had their lives cut short in current years, including Dale Panshaw from North Home, Michael Parker from Black Duck, and Michael Freyholtz from Hines. Our hopes are that this memorial will be a reminder to all, including our children and our grandchildren, that it is the veteran, not the preacher, who has given us the freedom of religion. It is the veteran, not the reporter, who has given us the freedom of the press. It is the veteran, not the poet, who has given us the freedom of speech. It is the veteran, not the campus organizer, who has given us the freedom to assemble. It is the veteran, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the veteran, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. It is the veteran who salutes the flag. It is the veteran who serves under the flag. Let us remember that freedom is not free. 
to all of you, thank you. He stood beside his daddy, watched the soldiers marching by. It was Veterans Day and he wondered why there were tears in daddy's eyes. Later they laid flowers upon a monument of stone. He said, son, my daddy went to fight and he didn't make it home. Fallen, but not forgotten. He was a hero. He stood so tall and forever we will remember with honor and glory he gave his all. They left behind their family in towns where they were born for the rice paddies of Vietnam and the sands of desert storms. They were soldiers in Korea in World War I and World War II. Some paid the price, some gave their lives, but they fought for me and you. Fallen, but not forgotten. They were the heroes who stood so tall. And forever we will remember with honor and glory they gave their all. Blessing, but freedom has a price. We must remember those who gave it with their lives. Remember the fallen, but not forgotten. They were the heroes, they stood so tall, and forever we will remember, with honor and glory, they gave their all, fallen, but not forgotten. You are the heroes, you stand so tall, and forever we will remember, with honor and glory, you gave your own.
Two, two. Hold. Right. Hey. Roll call. Derek Pearson. Here. Franklin. Here. Bifford. Here. Slavic. Here. Matthias. Here. Marcelo. Here. Lopez. Here. Lossings. Here. Kurtz. Lossings. Lossings. Clarence, Lossings, absent, gone home. Mm-hmm. <laughs>